going on guys welcome back to the channel this is Asa Speaker Studio so today it's another retouching tutorial and I'm gonna be fast on this one I'm gonna be showing you like four process or four technique you can use in retouching your images to make them look like a pro okay to add depth and bring colors and enhance the photo the more so that you can use it in your social media pages all right so let's get started the first thing I'm gonna be showing you what I'm gonna be fixing all right, you can see that the image is looking uh, dull and too dark for my liking and we can have some air strand here and here and there and some color variation okay so let's do that sometimes we retouch with AI and it's not giving us the realistic look so at the end of the video we're going to be having the AI kind of result while editing it manually and not doing it with the AI tool so you can see that I'm not using the latest version of Photoshop so let's get started if, but if you're new to the channel kindly subscribe and like the video if you find it helpful and share the video okay so let's get started the first thing first i would like to correct the exposure with the white balance but the white balance is not available in camera raw filter in um sorry in the adjustment layer it's not available but it's definitely available in the camera raw filter and let's not go to the camera of filter first of all i'm going to show you how to get the way it would be if you use the camera of filter the white balance so another method to do is to grab the solid color layer and it's okay turn it off now you're going to double click on the color to bring it up and you're going to select the eyes because the eyes is supposed to be white you know so i'm going to select that color and i'm going to it's okay i'll turn it back on and now it's not where to be found but don't worry let's change the blending mode to divide so divide is going to remove that color it's going to it's just like dividing um zero over zero two over two to remove that color and then you're having one okay so i'm gonna go back to the image and increase it all the way up so sometimes we can do it like this let me just show you quickly you can take it all the way up and it's gonna keep bringing the image back but sometimes I had you and saturation adjustment layer and I clip it. Now this is going to give you the reverse process. If you take it backwards, it's going to give you the image the way it is before. Take it forward, it's going to make the photo look awkward. Same as this, taking it forward, going to give you the real image before and taking it backwards, it's going to make it all the way white. Okay. So, and for the you, just going to enhance the skin tones the way you want to be so in other words it's functions like this this three um, column here the u saturation and brightness okay that's how it's function okay but i'm going i like using the u and saturation because it just give me uh the easy adjustment i want so for this i'm going to decrease the lightness somewhere around there it should be fine okay so let's look at before and after so I can bring it backwards to make it more brighter so i'm looking at the text the highlights here all right so now we could increase or decrease this so taking it forward so for this one i want the skin to look more like this one so i'm going to take it forward let's take it forward or we can take it backwards take backward is fine and let's look at the saturation we could take up the saturation and bring back the saturation so i'm going to leave it like this saturation minus 19 and then we go we we'll have it like this like this so you can see the difference i'm going to group these two together and then we go from year to year all right so one other thing we need to do is to balance the skin color variation so i'm going to use that so after the first one balancing the getting the white balance i'm going to use this one for the skin color variation i'm going to unify the skin tone so select the end to select you select any color sometimes i select the red sometimes i select this one so if i want it i want to get the range of this yellow form the yellow place all right so it's going to bring up the slider immediately you click and now you can increase once you increase, you're going to see the color variation. Some places are blue, some places are um, light blue, some are green. So, you know, you're going to do this three times. But let's try and do it once. Okay. So, um, bring this backwards. Let's increase it. And then you're going to move this slider. 
to select just the place you want let's select the cheek okay so uh, I'm gonna leave it at this range I'm gonna bring it back a bit okay so this range should be fine now you can see that the rest parts are the same uniform unlike this place that look yellowish okay so I'm going to increase it. let's take it back for the lead to okay so something like this and now I'm going to make this color make it look like the rest part of our skin so I'm typically removing the red so you can see that it's uniform like this like this seems okay for me so let's see before and after so the red are gone okay so I'm gonna take it up a little bit like 17 and now I can close it grab the brush tool make it bigger make it bigger and now I'm gonna remove it let's remove it from the red side okay um, first of all the leaves make sure the foreground color is black and remove it from the leaves okay so turn it off and on and let's remove it from the highs as well so we have it like this okay so off and on off and on okay so let's give it some little blushing and on this cheek as well so something like this let's turn it off and on all right so that should be okay for me all right so now we're going to create a stem visible layer and then we're going to do the frequency separation so ctrl j twice and name this color and then we name this color C O L O R enter name this texture you know how to do frequency separation but there's a new way of doing frequency separation now and of which I'm going to teach you so let's use the new method of frequency separation I'm going to get rid of this two layer now let's say why here for you to do that type of frequency separation you're going to grab the um, black and white adjustment layer and then bring this backwards and you're going to see some of the blemishes so we have less blemishes yeah okay so now you're going to grab the I like using the lazio tool let's use the patch tool I mean okay so now you're going to zoom in select the layer the layer one which you want to correct and you're just going to draw like this you know I normally draw and then you shift it to where it's just a fast method shift it to where you want to fix before doing your frequency separation shift it oh come on so I'm just going to quickly do that and then get back to the video so something like this take it downwards and select this one take it forward so it's just a fast method of working bring it here and as this one as well i'm gonna take it towards the side and this one take it downwards okay so you can still do more move it forward a little bit take this move it downwards a little bit sometimes you get rough uniform skin let's use this side okay use the side and there we go and for this one i'm just gonna quickly lift that there take this move it take this move it take this so you can see how it's affecting the image so let's just see this is what we want uh we've cleaned a little all right so we can get rid of this one and then we're back to our image all right so now we can do the frequency separation i'm going to get rid of the black and white adjustment layer delete the lead yeah the lead yes okay so now we can do ctrl j twice and make this color enter and this texture T E X T U R E enter i'm going to turn off so this is our another way uh the new frequency separation color layer go to filter blow question blow all right so now you're going to blow it like this and it's enter let's blow it any amount Let's say we want to blow it kind of uh, nine should be fine now you're going to duplicate that ctrl j which is a copy and that is one you're going to be blending the uh, blemishes with the mixer tool brush but select the texture layer first and then go to image apply image and from merge select the color copy and the texture the blending subtracts just to and that settings 
and then go to linear light as the blending mode okay so now i'm going to blend this with the mixer to brush okay and then i'm going to come back and show you what to do with the rest all right so i'm done with the frequency separation and why i duplicated the this two which is the blur he said that we can blend the first blur with the second one so you can see the changes it's just to create really realistic uh, way a way of creating realistic image okay so uh, if we decrease the opacity or the fill it starts bringing in details okay so you can see increasing it out to the end but at times just create the real fill so I'm gonna really leave it at 89 and just gonna make it very real realistic okay you can take this off as well so we have the way it looks before okay so that's for that and you can also duplicate this one but i'm not going to do that i'm just going to continue with the addicting okay so create a stand visible layer come to shift to turn e and now i'm going to make the eyes whiter and the rest okay so let's do that in a minute so for us to do that i'm going to grab the photo filter and sometimes i like enhancing the highs so let's let me quickly show you how to do that as a bonus tip grab any solid color Turn it off, double click and select the eyes and it's okay. Turn it back on, invert the mask, control I and change the blending mode to divide. And now I'm going to grab the normal brush and I'm going to paint on the eyes, okay? So let's paint on the eyes with the foreground color. You can do it on like this. Uh, it's going to look uh, bright at first. So doing it like that and you can see it's very very bright right now okay so go back to the two and bring the bring it up so you have it like this so it's okay so you have before and after okay so that won't give you the white view you need to add more which sometimes use a photo filter and then I use the color warming one and then I decrease the opacity grab this one Hold and Alt and Control and drop it on the other and it's sorry, hold and Alt, Alt and drag it on top and click OK. So it's going to replace the mask so you can see the difference. All right, uh, I'm going to decrease the opacity and sometimes I usually had the U uh, yeah, you can just add the U and saturation, but let's add the black and white. And for that, I'm just going to mess around with the color like that let's see what the yellows now pay attention to the eyes okay so in fact the mask control i in fact the mask and i'm going to grab the brush too and i'm going to paint on this one so don't mind don't leave some places okay so something like this I'm leaving some places and like this okay so now let's zoom out and there we go with this and this so sometimes you decrease your opacity to like 50 percent so this alone so i'm gonna group this and group this put it in a group and we have this to this okay so it has ability to re reduce the opacity if you want so something like this all right, so we go to the next step. Go to shift to that E. And if you want to create more enhancement, I'm going to go to the filter, camera raw filter. And the camera raw filter, I'm not going to use this other um, white balance too. I, I like the skin tones like that. Let's go to the curve, increase this a little, and take this backwards to give it more dimension. So you can see just a little bit. You can see that this is adjusting. Open up the color mixer. Let's start with the details can sharpen it a little okay so I'm gonna close that and then go to the color mixer let's start with the U I'm gonna make the yellow look more like the orange and make the red look more like the red so you can see that on the lips and the cheek okay um, for that I'm gonna leave that let's make the orange look like the orange the yellows so just a bit now the blues I think I'm just gonna bring this backwards and bring this backwards Go to saturation, increase the saturation of the blues if there is any, and all this. 
I'm going to increase the saturation of the red, which is the leaves, so you can see the difference on the leaves. So I'm going to leave it like this. And let's be careful with the orange, so you can see the background. Okay, so I'm going to take it all the way up to get some background color. And now the orange, just a bit, okay? So this looks amazing for me. I'm going to leave it like this and close it and what else what else what else i think we're done with the image so it's okay now it's gonna adjust it to that all right so see how amazing it looks if you want to enhance your dodging and burning you can do that as well by grabbing the curve and then increasing this let's increase it a little bit more and what we need to do is to double click to open the blending option and go ahead with the blending option on the lane layer um, see what i'm doing dragging this forward okay i'm going to drag it forward to where we have just the highlight alone so something like this hold that alt and blend it fully till you get it like this and it's okay so we have just a tiny uh, dodging and burning you can see it's just a faster way to do your dodging and burning okay so you can also color grade and do the rest so i'm gonna stop right here so thank you guys for watching let's quickly see uh before and after so i'm gonna group everything together and see uh before and then after before and then after so thank you guys for watching see you in the next video once again this is xs pixel studio thank you guys